Thank you so much for joining us once again on The Compassionate Couch. My name is Majda Adiola Nguayera, and I am an occupational therapist. So last time we were talking about the mastermind, and there's a very important point that I remembered when we talked about the mastermind, which is how where two or three are gathered, that is where God also is when we're talking also in terms of spirituality. But right now we're going to be talking about the definite chief aim. What is a definite chief aim or what is purpose? We're talking about a definite purpose. A definite purpose is, from the term definite, is exactly what you want to do. Sometimes it's hard for you to come up with something that you say, this is the thing that drives me. This is the thing that I want to do. But today we're going to discuss on how it helps us to have a definite chief aim or how it helps us for us to try to find that definite purpose that you have in your life. We want to define the definite purpose first of all. So I want to give an illustration of a definite purpose. Let's assume that you are on a boat in a river and you're rowing the boat. The direction that you row the boat um, determines where you will go. So if you know that you want to go from point A to point B, and if you start rowing and you see yourself going backwards or you see yourself turning, that means that you're not going towards your goal. So you're just moving, you might just end up moving around in circles at a particular point, but you're not going to your, to your point or your definite purpose that you're saying that this is what I want to do. What is a definite purpose? A definite purpose doesn't necessarily have to be something that's too um, exotic or something that's very much far-fetched or out there. A definite purpose can be, I want to be happier. I want to have a healthier relationship with my mother. I want to have a healthier relationship with my siblings. I want to have a healthier um, communion with God. So that can be a definite purpose. You know what it is that you want to have and you know what it is that you're trying to create within your sphere or within your life. So if you have a a definite purpose or something that you're saying that this is something that I really want to do. This is something or a core value that you have, that you have set. So the good thing about this is you can have different core values that you have that align to something. So if you have these core values um, or definite purpose that you, or chief aim or a definite chief aim that um, we can also call it that, it then helps you to say, okay, fine. If you're moving moving your boat and you see that you're going backwards or you're going around in circles, it means this can help you to know how to steer your, your boat, how you're going to row your boat in the direction that you're going. If you see yourself drifting, um, remember we're talking about, um, one of the, in one of the episodes, we're talking about how being hooked moves you away from your goals. So this in, this particular example can also be that where you're being hooked from um, your values or from your goals or from what makes you happy or from what makes you feel that you are who you're supposed to be um, in principle or in value as well. So now when we're moving with the definite chief aim, what it is just there for is to just help you to realize that this is where I want to be. This is the person that I want to be. This is who God has called me to be. But if whatever it is, is pulling you away, this is just there to show you that um, you can you can live a life that is better, that is fuller, um, if you know where you want to go. So basically what I'm trying to explain to you today is know who you want to be. Even if you are not that person at this particular point in time, but you need to be able to know that this is who I want to be. And that can help you in realizing or having a healthier mind in in the overall long run. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Majda Diolangwera and I'm an occupational therapist. Please don't forget to join us next time on The Compassionate Couch.